guys, so today's video is going to be basic hamster care. So the first thing for your hamster is obviously you're going to need a cage. I personally recommend using aquariums and bin cages. You are going to need a large cage for a hamster, something along the size of 450 square inches of floor space. That's equivalent to around a 40 gallon aquarium. When placing the hamster's cage, try to put it somewhere where the, it is a low traffic area so there's not too many people, maybe not too many loud things going around um, like the TV or things like that. Also try to keep it out of direct sunlight so don't put it in a window because you don't want it always shining in your hamster's cage and it could heat up a little too quickly. In your hamster's cage you are going to want to include things such as hideouts. And you can get a variety of different types. This is an egg glue, this is a little lion hunt you can get. You also want to put different toys in there, so like different tubes and different things to stimulate your hamster's brain. And you also want to include um, chew toys in your hamster's cage because hamster teeth are continuously growing. They never stop growing, so they do need something hard to chew on to wear their teeth down so that they do not end up having any medical issues. The next thing you are going to need for your hamster is bedding and hamsters are naturally burrowers in the wild. They will burrow and make houses underneath the ground so you do need a lot of substrate. You should give at least a 6 inch amount so that your hamster has enough room for it to burrow and things like that. There are some unsafe types of beddings such as pine, cedar, and scented beddings. Anything that is called softwood shavings is not safe for your hamster. It can actually give them a respiratory infection. The safe beddings that you want to go with would be aspen or any paper-based bedding. It can be colored even. Just make sure it's not scented or anything like that. My favorite personal bedding would be the KT Clean and Cozy because it's just so soft and it's actually a fairly good price because you get so much in a bed. You also are going to need some type of wheel because hamsters in the wild can run up to several miles per night so they need a wheel to burn off their energy. So for a Syrian hamster and a Chinese hamster you want to get the proper size and it needs to be at least a 8 inch. Most Syrian hamsters will need a larger wheel though than an 8 inch. Most will need at least an 11 inch wheel and for dwarfs you should probably go around six to eight inches. This right here is a six inch silent spinner that I use for my dwarf hamster and she fits perfectly in it. You also want to stay away from anything wire or mesh because this can injure your hamster's feet and limbs. So stick with anything solid. Next you are going to need a diet for your hamster. Obviously they need to eat something and a hamster's diet should include some type of seed mix and a pellet, pelleted mix and then some fruits and vegetables on the side. There are a lot of seed mixes on the market. You can find so many different brands of seed mixes for hamsters, but a lot of them don't actually meet the requirements a hamster actually needs. A hamster should have at least 7 to 19 percent protein, 4 to 7 percent fat, and 8 to 13 percent fiber. Right now, the most recommended diet that you can be feeding your hamster is the Higgins Sunburst um, gourmet blend seed mix along with the Missouri rat and mouse pellets. Hamsters can have a variety of different types of foods because they are omnivores and I do have a video that you can check out. It does include all of the different types of safe foods you can feed your hamsters and all of the unsafe foods that you shouldn't be feeding your hamster. So you can check that out if you want. Personally, I feed my hamsters two tablespoons every two to three days. I find this is a good amount and it gives them time to eat it. Um, you do not need to be refilling your hamster's food dish every day. It might seem like the dish is empty, but your hamster has cheek pouches that they put all of the food in and they will take it all back to their nest so that it's close to them so that they can eat it and take little snacks when they want to. So it might seem like your hamster's eating all that food, but they really aren't. So give it a couple days for them to eat the stuff in their nest before refilling the dish. Next you need some source of water for your hamster because once again they are a mammal and they need to be always hydrated. Um, you can use a water bottle, it is what I recommend because it keeps the water clean and it doesn't get full of bacteria or anything. If you do use a hamster food or water dish, you do need to be cleaning that out more often than you would a water bottle. But for a water bottle you do want to be cleaning this out every several days and refilling it with new water. Next is cleaning your hamster's cage. 
Your hamster's cage really should only be cleaned every once a month if it is the proper cage size and you should be cleaning, spot cleaning it every several days. So just going, finding where your hamster pees or if you see a lot of soil bedding, cleaning that out every once in a while um, to make sure it doesn't become over dirty. And then only cleaning it out once a month because hamsters become very stressed if you're always cleaning their cage. And when you do clean your cage, make sure you're not using any harsh chemicals on the cage. Here is some water and vinegar mix. This is awesome, it's pet safe and it won't hurt your hamster. So this is what I like to clean my cages with every once in a while. I don't do it every month because it's not necessary, but um, when you do clean it, make sure you use something safe. Also make sure to include some previous bedding from the old cage into the new clean cage. That way your hamster isn't too stressed out because they will smell their old bedding and they might feel a little bit better. Your hamster itself does not need to be bathed. A hamster, if bathed in water, can actually become very, very stressed and they can even catch a cold or even pass away. So you really never want to be bathing your hamster in water. Instead, if your hamster gets smelly or they look a little greasy, you can give them a little bit of chinchilla bath sand and they can roll around in that and that should clean them pretty good. Most hamsters should live on their own, especially Syrians and Chinese hamsters, because they are naturally solitary. When paired with another hamster, they will fight each other and it can become very tragic if you lose a hamster. There are some species that can be put together, but it isn't really recommended as it is a little bit risky and it should be only for experienced hamster owners to try. But even I have tried it and I personally really don't recommend keeping a pair. I suggest keeping one hamster to one cage. It's just that easy. Hamsters should not be introduced to each other either as they can result in fighting each other and that can be very, very scary. So try not to introduce your hamster to another hamster or try to put them on like a play date or something. Hamsters really like to be on their own and they do not get lonely. And just like any other animal, hamsters need a vet fund. In case anything serious happens or if there's an emergency, you do need to take your hamster to a vet. Just because they might be small or cheap does not mean you have the right to not give them the medical attention they need. So that is your basic hamster care. I do have a full playlist full of hamster care videos if you would like to learn more about hamsters. Feel free to check out that playlist. It has a lot of helpful videos in it. So yeah guys, thank you for watching. Bye!